This is um, the National Physical Laboratory uh, uh, exhibit at the uh, International Space Flight Centre, and uh, we um, are showing uh, what we call the Truth Satellite. Um, oh gosh, I should have remembered exactly what Truth stands for. I'll remember in a minute. Um, it's uh, one of the oh here a traceable radiometry underpinning terrestrial and helio studies. Um, the, the, um, the idea here is um, that uh, a lot of Earth observation satellites are used to um, study global warming and to provide input to the world's climate models. But these have all been flown at different times and the equipment on board, although it was calibrated before it was shot into space, uh, has been stored for a long time and then it's had this uh, launch into space and then it's been uh, in, a, in a sort of extreme environment of space and the equipment degrades and uh, you know just like uh, a camera's uh, light meter might, um, uh, might uh, get uh, age and, and not work as well uh, the, these uh, all the earth observation satellites equipment uh, basically it cannot be trusted uh, and really should be recalibrated. So the idea is that um, uh, Truth is a satellite that uh, is a calibration lab in space. And uh, what it does is it establishes uh, targets that do not vary in their brightness, uh, like the sun uh, and actually the moon too, which shines uh, you know, by reflected light uh, from the sun. Uh, and also um, patches on the Earth like uh, specific deserts. And uh, this calibration lab in space will um, actually carries what we call a primary standard. Uh, so that's what we use on Earth to calibrate all the other equipment. And it's a, it's a radiometer which uh, is used for calibrating light. So this primary lab, uh, this primary uh, instrument in space uh, can be used to get a, a proper reading from the sun and the moon and the, these Earth deserts. And then as other Earth observation satellites uh, track onto those objects, they can be recalibrated. Mm -hmm. and, and the whole idea of this is that that will enable us to make our climate models a lot more accurate or uncertain. And that will help us to predict uh, the likely uh, global warming and also it will help us to understand uh, the impact of various measures that we might undertake to try and mitigate the effects of global warming. I mean, it, it, it doesn't take very much uh, of a difference in input of energy from the sun to make quite a big difference to the, um, the impact of, the, uh, of uh, global warming.